art channel. Without further ado, let's get drawing. Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be drawing a forest in a coffee cup. It's a really unique and interesting idea. It's something that I saw on Instagram which looked really fun to draw. So we're going to go ahead today and again, like always, if you haven't watched my previous tutorials, go back and watch them. We've got a huge collection of drawings, designs, artwork and loads of different things that we've we've done together. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my 12 by 12 canvas. Now, first of all, we're going to start by drawing the coffee cup. So I'm going to turn on, whoops, I'm going to turn on. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, you can flip your canvas. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to turn on my drawing guide. I'm going to edit my drawing guide and I'm going to turn on my symmetry. Now, I'm using this to draw the coffee cup and the coffee cup only today. I'm going to go to my inking pen, my studio pen. The size I'm going to have at about 30 and the opacity turned up. Now, I'm going to be drawing a coffee cup. Now, in general, I'd really like my coffee cup to be white. So, I'm going to go ahead and just change my background colour so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to choose my white color. Now for the coffee cup, I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna draw an oval, just like this. And then I'm gonna drag and drop. I'm gonna turn off my oval and I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna make sure drawing assist is turned on. And I'm just going to draw the coffee cup here, like this, and then I'm gonna drag and drop. Now this oval, we're just gonna bring in here like this. And we're going to bring it underneath this coffee cup. I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm just going to turn drawing assist on. And then we are just going to create a curve, which is the top of the cup. And then I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to bring it down underneath all the other layers. For this, you don't want drawing assist. I'm just going to draw the handle for the coffee cup and then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to turn drawing assist on and I'm just going to create a circle underneath which is going to be the plate. And there you have the coffee cup but it's not finished yet. So we are going to turn alpha lock on for all of these layers and we are going to then create our texture of our, you know, do our shading as we usually do. And then we're going to go ahead and draw the forest in the cup. So I'm just going to turn off, I'm going to turn on alpha lock for my coffee cup. And for my handle, for my plate, and for my rim. Now I'm going to be using a pink textured brush. So I'm just going to first of all go into my soft blend airbrushes and I'm just going to pick a pink, light pink color. I'm going to set it to about 15. And then I'm just going to go back to my plate. I'm going to turn the brush size down for this. I'm going to zoom in and then I'm just going to, so that I can see, there we go, I can see where the shadowing is. I'm just going to turn it down even more and then I'm just going to press a little bit harder around the bottom. We're going to blend all this in. So click on your smudge brush. And then just go ahead and just smudge this so that it's not too sharp. And 
And then we're going to do the same for the cup. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn off drawing assist. And I'm just going to bring some pink shading around here. And then a little bit around here. And then I'm going to choose a darker pink. And then I'm going to go ahead onto my handle and I'm going to do the same. And then on my rim, just slightly. And then I'm going to come back to my cup and with my charcoal brush, my carbon stick brush, I'm just going to draw a line which is going to be curved at the top and then I'm just going to turn my brush size down and I'm going to draw another line just underneath here and then on the bottom. Now you want a curve, so just curve it slightly. And on the bottom, you can do just a straight line. Then I'm going to come down to my plate. I'm just going to turn the brush size up. And then I'm just going to add some, turn drawing assist off. And then I'm just going to add some extra texture down here with my carbon stick. And I'm also going to do the same to the handle and to the cup. And then I'm going to do some highlights in white. just like that. Then I'm going to turn on this layer here. I'm just going to turn the opacity down so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to warp this layer. So I'm going to turn off drawing assist and I'm going to go onto my mouse and then I'm going to click on warp. And this means that I can make this oval fit into the coffee cup. And I've turned the opacity down so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. And then you can just warp this so that it fits inside the coffee cup. Your rim, you're going to want to bring below the front part of the coffee cup. And then for this, I'm just going to turn the opacity up. And I'm going to fill in with a brown colour and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to again warp this oval inside the other one like so. Then I'm going to duplicate again and this time I'm going to drag and drop with a lighter colour. And then I'm going to warp this one again inside like so. Okay, so there I have my basic coffee cup. Now I'm going to group all of these layers together by swiping right and then clicking group. And then I have a new group of, of layers. Now I'm just going to click, make sure when you click on it, you click on freeform because you don't want to warp and distort your drawing. And I'm just going to bring the size down a little bit, like 
so okay I am now going to create my forest so I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to do this in a dark navy blue I'm going to go back to my studio pen and I'm just going to bring out from in the middle a line and then I'm going to do the same here now don't worry if you go over the edge of the cup you can erase that later and then like so I'm just going to join it here at the bottom and then you can erase to get it into a straight line okay now we are going to create a curved wave up to the top so just like that and then we're going to drag and drop and then you can just smoothen out your lines so that you've got the shape that you want and then we're going to be doing clipping masks within this layer so we're going to add a new layer and click clipping mask and then we're going to choose black and we're going to draw some just some trees in the background so when you do this drag and drop make sure that you fill in whatever it is that you're drawing so that it doesn't fill up the whole layer and you can just do some black curvy trees at the back this is going to be the background for the forest and then you're just going to draw some branches like so okay we're now going to add a new layer but underneath the trees and we're going to make sure that it comes up as a clipping mask we're then going to go to our luminance brushes and on our light pen i'm going to do a kind of really light pastel blue similar to the background color and you're just going to go ahead and draw a circle and fill it in with the light brush and this will give the effect of a moon then we're going to go back onto our trees and we're going to turn alpha lock on we're going to go to our charcoal brush which we just used and then in the same color we're just going to highlight the corners and the sides of the trees that are catching the moonlight just really simple like that then we're going to add a new layer and we're going to create a new clipping mask and we're going to do some leaves so i'm going to be doing these in a deep pink and purple just some you know night time but kind of really funky colors so go back to your studio pen choose the color and for this one we're just going to draw an autumn leaf just like that really simple really easy we're going to turn alpha lock on we're going to go back to our charcoal brush and then we're just going to highlight the corners and then create some shadows on the bottom we're then going to go back to our studio pen and in a lighter color turn your size down we're just going to add some really simple detail and then this you can now duplicate and you have another one we're going to duplicate it again 
and then we are going to change the color so i'm just going to do a re an even darker color for this one i'm going to go back to this one i'm going to choose a purple and we have these three leaves so i'm now just going to place them where i want them you can also flip them And you can resize them. Like that. And once you've got your placement of your leaves, you can now do some extra floral or leaf design. So I'm just gonna add a new layer and click on clipping mask. <clears throat> I'm going to do a lighter color for this one. I'm just gonna choose a blue. You can use whatever color palette you want. And then I'm just going to, I undid my clip layer. I really should be wearing a glove, a specific drawing glove for doing this, but I really don't like them. I can't get on with them. Um, so <clears throat> it's going to draw a small curve. I'm going to try and use the empty space. So try and fit this in around your empty space. And then we're just going to be drawing some leaves. And then you can color them in. You can color them in by drag and drop or by coloring them in with your pen. So then just go ahead and color this in. Okay, so once you've colored this in, you can then go ahead and turn on alpha lock and add your texture. Again, I'm doing it with my charcoal brush. So I'm just gonna do a darker blue and I'm gonna turn my brush size down and on the bottom of the leaves, I'm just gonna do a shadow. Just really simply, really quickly. And then I'm just going to do a highlight in white on the top. You can spend more time doing these shadows. It's just to give the drawing some extra depth and texture. And then you can go ahead, go back to your studio pen, make sure the size is turned down. And then you can add your thinner leaf details. just like that and then I've completely turned my drawing around so I'm just going to make sure that it's in the right way I'm going to duplicate these leaves and I'm just going to bring some down I'm going to flip it I'm going to duplicate again I'm going to change the color on this one. I'm just going to do a teal green. I'm going to do one behind and one in front. So I'm going to do one a darker green. And there you can just play about and duplicate all these leaves, all these layers. And then I'm just going to go back to my moon layer. 
And I'm going to go back to my luminance brush. I'm going to choose a really light color. You can do yellow, you can do white, you can do blue. And then just go ahead and add some dots in the background. Which is your stars, your nighttime kind of look. I'm then going to create a layer on top of all of these other layers. And I'm going to choose in this very dark burgundy in my inking brush. I'm just going to <clears throat> bring out some extra leaves outside of what I've just drawn. So you can do I'm going to turn on alpha lock. I'm going to go back to my charcoal brush and as you can see, I'm just adding my shadows and then back to my inking pen. Just like so. <clears throat> you can also turn the opacity down so that it's just very subtle. I'm just going to move you can play about with the placement and with the size. You can duplicate and again, like we did with the leaves, you can create these in different colors. And you can just bring these outside of your forest that you've done. You can create different sizes. And there you have a forest in a cup. We are just going to create the shadow of the cup and then we're going to be done. So go to your grouped layer, which was the cup, duplicate it. The bottom layer, flatten. Make sure alpha lock is turned on and then fill the layer with black. Turn off alpha lock. Go ahead to your Corsian blur and just blur to about 70. And then you can bring this shadow just behind the coffee cup. And there you have a really simple but really fun drawing. If you've done my previous tutorials then you can also go back click on one of your favorite animals that you have done go ahead and copy the canvas go back to your drawing 
and in between all these leaves you can add a new layer and you can paste your really cute drawing that you did and you can place it somewhere inside so that you know you can incorporate your all your different drawings and you can also change the colors so again by just dragging and dropping and there you have a really cute procreate drawing so thanks for watching and don't forget to watch out for the next video Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more and more and more and more free videos for all of you out there. So if you want to come and join my Procreate group, the links are in the description. I'd love for you to be a member of my group. We can share all some ideas, tips and artwork. Also, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see what work you've created from this awesome tutorial. So love to you all and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.